Fire One TV. Graced differently. Anointed differently. There is a marine connection. There is a marine spirit connection that has been following you. And this marine spirit that is following you is a unisex marine spirit. It has a female genital private part and it also has a male genital private part. So it will be fighting your marriage or it has been fighting your marriage. That is what I am seeing. Everywhere you go, this spirit follows you in the realm of the spirit. But today, by the time I am done speaking to you and praying for you, the Lord God Almighty is going to descend and disconnect you from that evil spirit from the marine kingdom in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it will disconnect from you in the name of Jesus. You see, in the olden days, what the Lord is showing me now, in the olden days, your family used to trade in slavery. In the olden days, your ancestors, your ancestors, your family foundation, they used to trade in slavery and as a result of that slavery some have gotten wealth and some have also gotten cares so there is a portion of the family that are that are experiencing financial blessing financial growth and there is a portion of the family also the cares as a result of that slave trading has fallen upon and i'm seeing you in particular i'm seeing you in particular there is this force that has been fighting your marriage and there is this force also that has been fighting your finances and these forces that are fighting your marriage and your finances they are coming to you as a result of the family foundation what your ancestors did in the past so in order for you to be delivered a lot of prayer has to be offered a lot of fastings also have to be done in order for you to be delivered but the spirit of god said this year 2023 he has prepared a very big blessing a very big testimony is on the way coming for you but prayer still needs to be offered in order for that blessing to manifest in the physical there's a big testimony and there's a big blessing the most high god is preparing for you in this year 2023 so get ready for it yes are you married husband even though we're legally divorced and all but I've been giving prayer things that return reconnecting with him returning and I've been in a lot of prayer just wanting for my father in heaven to give me direction since I do not want to make any mistakes okay how long have you been and divorced from him legally Over 22 years, but you have reconnected again and you are believing God for you to get married again. We are talking, we have been talking, and um, until for me, this this cause that I've been seeing is because for me, I've been waiting for directions from my father and dad. Don't want to make any mistakes. Mm. How many children do you have? We have one. Mm. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm picking this one in the realm of the spirit, and I don't know whether it is connected to you or is connected to your child. Which one among the two of you complains of severe stomach ache? Yes, she has been complaining about stomach pains. Yes. Mm. Mm. My daughter. I, I pray that it will not, because I see, I see, a woman lying on a hospital bed and I see doctors so many hands I see the tummy open and I see so many hands working inside her tummy so there is a surgery there's an operation which is on the way coming but I cancel it in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I cancel it 
I cancel it, I cancel it, I cancel it. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. This your daughter, I see, I see her glory. I see her glory removed from her face. And I saw the glory being buried by an evil hand in the earth, buried in the ground. So even her, she will be going through series of disappointments, series of promise and fail, series of negative happenings, especially when it comes to disappointment. She'll be going through it. And I'm seeing her also complaining on the left side of her chest. And I don't know whether it is the left breast or it is the heart itself that she's complaining. But I see her complaining about the left side of her chest. But I offer prayer. I offer prayer for her that the Lord will preserve her, the Lord will protect her, the Lord will deliver her, and the hand of the Almighty God will sustain her and she will live long to the glory of God. And every sickness the enemy has brought into her life, I decree and I declare that it shall not stand and it shall not work, that from today, may the Lord God Almighty touch her intestines, touch her liver, touch her kidney, and heal her completely in the mightiest name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I come against the spirit of confusion, because confusion, the spirit of confusion, that has been contending with your life, that has been contending with your career, that has been contending with your marriage, I come against it in the name of Jesus. Sudden stomach ache attack for you and for your children, I break it, I rebuke it, I annihilate it, I uproot it, and I set it on fire in the mightiest name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. The Spirit of God says, I should tell you, I should tell you to rise up and start doing midnight prayer. Very early in the morning, before five in the morning, do early morning prayer. Do early morning prayer. Before five in the morning, do early morning prayer. And then also, this scripture that talks about our fathers have sinned, they are no more. But we, the children, we carry the iniquities of our fathers. In the book of Lamentations, chapter five, it should be the scripture that, that must guide you in doing spiritual warfare for yourself and for your daughter. Okay. For yourself and for your daughter. If there is anyone, are you working? No. Okay, if there is anyone that is challenging you, okay, if there is anyone that is challenging you that you know or contending with you, for whatever reason, if it is possible, just walk away from that person. Um, okay. Maybe, maybe you can give me... Any, Sorry? Challenging in anything or everything? Everything, everything. Because uh, you are probably the, the right person to indicate to me to say, okay, this and this is what someone is contending with you with, then I will probably get what I'm seeing clearly. Getting attacked spiritually in any way, in every way, because yes, I have been doing midnight prayer. Midnight prayer, matter of fact, I've been pretty much all day, all day, even in my mind throughout the day, eh? Just constantly talking, talking and constantly just. Okay. I've been requesting my prayer. Okay. Intercessory. Interesting. Um, that's what that's what I want to do to serve him. If that's all I can give him, I have but one life. And okay. One life, I surrender to him. Okay. Okay. Um, you heard what I said about the marine spirit? It's a, I don't know much about my family I, because um, my parents and my great-grandparents and all, they were all already passed before I was even born. But what little that I was able to get from my father it's a possibility because they used to work in the marine, like in the marine part, like near the oceans. And some of them, you know, some family were riches and some were not. And, and 
it's a possibility, but from what I've been receiving from our Father in Heaven, I've been receiving like family curses, generational curses, wasn't somehow in, in my life or in my family's life. Um, and something has been bothering me. Like I can, how can I say, I can, sometimes I can feel it. And I just, I'll be in the middle of prayer I'll, and I'll cry out to God on my and I stop whatever it is trying to attack physically. Okay. Uh, do you have olive oil at home? Yes, I do. Okay, this is what I want to do for you quickly before we finish this session. I want to wash your feet for you quickly, okay? I want to wash your feet for you according to the direction I'm receiving from the Holy Spirit because everything I'm saying, you are literally confirming it, though you are not confirming it directly the way I expected you to confirm it. But I, I know and I understand where you are going and I know it's on what the Lord is showing me is on point. So get olive oil and get a bowl, get a bowl. A bowl you can put your feet in. I just pour the oil, oil on me. On your feet. On your feet. Only on your feet. Say this words after me. Say this words after me. You open the bottle of the oil. Yes. Okay, say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. I am a child of the Most High God. I am a child of the Most High God. I am sanctified by the blood of Jesus. I am sanctified by the blood of Jesus. And I proclaim Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. And I proclaim Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. From today. From today. All generational curses. All generational curses. Which I inherited. Which I inherited. From my conception. From my, from my conception. Up until now. Up until now. I abolish it. I abolish it. I uproot it. I uproot it. Out of my life. Out of my life. Out of my marriage. Out of my marriage. And out of my finances. And out of my finances. I declare that I shall live long. I declare that I shall live long. And I shall prosper. And I shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I wash my feet. As I, I wash my feet. I wash away. I wash away. All maternal curses. All maternal curses. And paternal curses. And paternal curses. From my bloodline. From my from um, my bloodline. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Okay, now pour the oil on your feet and wash your feet. When you are done, pour a little bit of the oil on your head. And go read Psalm 89. Starting from verse 20, your deliverance has taken place in Jesus' name. Psalm 89. Yeah, you'll read that later. Psalm 89 verse 20 okay. downwards. You'll read that one later when we are done with our session. Okay. Okay, so the last, the last direction I will give you, in fact there are two. The last one is, don't talk too much. Tame your tongue. Tame your tongue. Okay. Yes, tame your tongue. When God begins to do certain things in your life, don't become be excited all right but don't become too over excited where you begin to 
spread it around and, and tell people because the level of contention that is fighting your destiny to ensure you don't break through you don't make it it's very heavy even though i have prayed for you and we believe the almighty god that the curse is lifted you also need to do your part and then number two number two get connected get connected to a firebrand church or a firebrand pastor who can stand with you in prayer because the level of battle you are fighting spiritually it is not enough if you are standing alone and you are praying alone it is not enough so get yourself into a local church that is firebrand that believe in deliverance that believe in the holy spirit and humble yourself serve in the church and in addition to the grace that is working on that altar together with your prayer god will establish what he has purpose for your life it's slightly difficult when it comes to finding a, uh, like you say, fire, fire burning church. Why is it difficult? Where I'm, where I'm here, where I'm at, it's all mountains. And you are in USA, right? Yes, but where I'm lo my location, it's mostly in a mountain. And the only time I get to go to service is when I go leave this mountain and I meet up with my, I would say my husband or my daughter, and I stay at their state for about a week or whatever time, and that's when I get to go to services over there, and, and the directions of but I, what I've been receiving is pretty much in the spiritual, everything that you have stated when it comes to the cursing and the prayer and getting connected, uh, it's, it's a, I'm confirming you, but at the same time, you're confirming me, what I've been receiving in the spirit. And yes, it's, he also did direct me not to say much to anyone because not everyone can deal with someone as bold as you, you, as you or myself when it comes to living with fire of our Father in Heaven. Mm. And that's, and me going into prayer, midnight prayer, fighting many, many things coming at me at one time, but still stand my ground. To me, I have received connect with you until he shows me otherwise. Okay. Okay. Or I, until he, I, until I, I marry re, or remarry and then move out of this state where I'm at now. Okay. Because this is all country did nothing this not whereas when i leave this state and go to where my daughter and my husband is that's all city so you find everything everywhere okay okay you know you know what juanita yes you you are like you are like me in the realms of the spirit because you have you are so hated you are so hated in the demonic kingdom you are so hated that when they hear your name they get so upset in the realm of the spirit when they think about you they get so upset in the realm of the spirit and they've set a trap for you they've set a trap for you once you become lukewarm with your christian life you become lukewarm with your prayer life and they get the opportunity to kill you they will kill you from the demonic kingdom they will kill you once they get the opportunity to kill you they will not spare you to say next year or next month they will take you out they will take you out so what you need to do is to stay firm and stay strong in the lord and like i've already said which you have also confirmed to say the lord said the same thing to you tame your tongue there are so many things god will come to you about 
Keep it to yourself until the right time. Yes. And the Bible said, John the Baptist was in the wilderness, was in the wilderness until his time of manifestation. Until his time of manifestation. And there's a reason why God kept him in the wilderness until the right and appropriate time for him to manifest for the whole nation to hear him. But what I can tell you, and that is a fact, that you are so, so hated, hated, hated in the realms of the spirit, in the demonic kingdom. So be careful with your life. Be careful the people you bring around you. Be careful the people you associate yourself with. And be careful the way you talk in terms of what God is doing in your life. Yes, because um, when I left the city the first time, I'm just confirming what you're just saying. He brought me into the wilderness to, I'm not going to say minister, I'll say to train me. So I've been up in this mountain for over 20 years in the midst of training and then all of a sudden this whole thing with I still call him my husband because in the eyes of God he still is um, to be married and this and that you know one thing after the other and I said wait, wait, wait I have kind of pull back and say whatever father in heaven wants has nothing to do with us it all has to do with him mm -hmm. I have one enrolled one path I can't get off that path. I never will go because my life has been jeopardized more than one. Or I should have been dead probably 10 times over. But because I'm the only one pretty much in my family that's just standing firm in the word. Because young, he did call me to be someone like, like yourself, a prophet. I don't want to make mistakes and that's where I'm always fearing and say father I don't want to fail you I don't want to make mistakes and so this time I stay firm and I don't move but I don't bring shame to the father in heaven either so I fear my fear is a good fear but the fear of the God Almighty because he's done everything and every, anything and everything for me whereas no one was there but him. I know what he's done, what he continues to do, and what he what he will continue to do in my life. I have no path, as I said earlier. I have but one life. I surrendered it to him. And in that path, I just want to make sure that everything else from family members, from generation, marine, and all that, I want a broken gun where I can serve him. Like I told him, serve him. Serve the God Almighty. It's spirit and the truth. And continue there the day he takes me home. Okay. I have no other, no other eternity. It's just one way. All right. The throne. All right. God Almighty. All right. All right. I'm glad. Every prophetic word God has given to me to you for you today, you have confirmed me to be on point. I'm glad about it. But I pray in the name of Jesus that starting from today, the heaviness of the Holy Spirit will remove you from every demonic entanglement. That God will make a way for you, that God will open new doors for you, that new great and opportunities will come to you. That what God has promised you for the year 2023 shall be established and you break away from the generational curse and the ancestral curse. And your daughter will also break away from that generational curse and that ancestral curse, even in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord's oil increase upon your life. As you read Psalm 89 verse 20, do you know what is there, Psalm 89 verse 20? I've read it so many times, but it's... At this very moment, I'm completely blank. He said, he said, you have found your servant David. You have found your servant David, and with your holy oil, you have anointed him. Yes, yes. Meditating on that last week. 
that is your that is your scripture for the year that is your scripture for the year pray with that scripture all the time okay. pray with that scripture all the time i have found my daughter juanita with my sacred oil i have anointed him my hand will sustain him surely my arm will strengthen her the enemy will not get the better of him. The wicked will not oppress him. I will crush his foes before him and strike down his adversaries. My faithful love will be with her, and through my name, her horn will be exalted. I will set her hand over the sea. Hey, Balagadu Satula Basia. I will set her hand over the sea, her right hand over the rivers. So that that marine spirit that has been contending with you, the Lord said, He is giving you power over that marine spirit. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So that is the scripture God said, I should give you. Read, read it, pray with it, and you see the glory of God in your life. Yes. Wow, 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 wow. We give God the glory. Today is about a week. I mean, I don't even know. I know it's our Father in Heaven that's connected us this time because I've been like nonstop, almost more than 24 hours, nonstop in prayer. Mm. And the moment that you called before, you said it was internet, but I lost service on the phone. There's no service on the phone. Mm. So we're literally talking through, like you say, in the internet, no phone service. And my computer, that it's gonna set up gone. It just no power to it. There's no power to it. Won't turn on. So it was like one thing after the other. So I knew my father had something to say through you or to confirm so many things. And I also got spiritually attacked when I was in prayer. I guess they, I guess they tried sexually, but I woke up. It's not that it's not that I woke up. I felt when they were trying, and I just cried out the name of Jesus, and they disappeared. It disappeared. Mm -hmm. And they did it twice. Those times, it never happened again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lord is with you. So I've been, the Lord is with you. <laughs> He's all I have. You, you understand that more than anyone. Very much. That's all you have. Very, very much. <laughs> There's no one in that. Even though you're around a lot of people, mm. but you're still alone. Mm. Very much. I'm very, very much. Maybe a lot of, especially when I go to the city, but I'm still so much alone, but I walk with my father. And yet when I come to the mountain, where there's no one, I've never felt a day alone since the day that I gave my life to him. Mm. I feel no I know him. I just want more of him. I live to have more. Like I say, you birthed me to serve you, and to serve you, I will. However way he wants. Mm, mm. My family tries to quiet me, like, no, you talk too much about God, too much, you know, because I only see them when I leave, when I go to the city. Okay. And they all say, I got to stop talking so much about God. And I said, how can I stop talking about the only thing that I have? Mm. I'd love mm. to show him off. Mm. It's all I have. How can I talk about him? Mm. And the word doesn't state that. And I would, and, and it's always, even though they're all in the word also, but it's like, you know what it is? You have the word, but it's not living in you. Mm -hmm. It's not flowing. And I say, I have the word in me that works in me, moves in me, it flows in me. It's, like I say, fire prayer, fire deliverance. I'm always constantly in my mind where I don't have to bother other people. So when I'm around, a lot of people, I still got my mind connected to my Father in heaven. Mm. And that's, I think, my water had picked up. To mm. do the same thing without me even. But she had told me, it's like, Mom, I feel like I'm constantly praying. And I said, Don't let him go. 
that's all you have, that's all that's there. Mm. That's the only thing that's worth living for. You know, so, um, you, and that thing is me. It's, uh, I'm really trying to hold myself because if not, I'd be all around in this house glorifying all things, giving you adoration. Mm. <laughs> We thank God. We thank God. Uh, so I can do that. We thank God. <laughs> we bless God. We bless God. May the Spirit of the Almighty God continue to be with you, continue to accompany you, direct you. And I'm also standing with you in prayer all the way. And I was there. I've been. That's another thing, too. It's not like when I pray for you, they just don't like it. They never did. Mm. From the moment I stop your, your, your name, in my midst, it's like, mm -mm. I, it's like one after the other, after the other, after the other. It's, it's like non-ceasing. And that's what I told my husband. I got no other path. And he needs to understand that. Mm. There's no walk, no path. That's why I don't want to make any more, more mistakes. Mm. Will he be able to understand and I have to be in prayer? You know, I have to shut in for prayer or for fasting. I don't know. So I put it in our Father's hands because that's a lot of, that's something heavy for city people, I'll say city people to take. Mm. But they, mm. but I've been praying that he has his own experience with God Almighty. He's also born again now? He does believe. He understands and all, but a person can understand, but unless they have a personal, personal experience, it's a, it's almost like null and void. Like they'll say one thing, but at the same time, like they'll bless you with, with like they bless you with the right hand and they curse you with the left. Mm, mm. It's like double, double, double minded. Mm. How can you, how, I would say, how can you word this way? And then you're saying the opposite with the other lip. It's either one or the other. You can't be lukewarm. Mm -hmm. It's either you're hot, you're cold. Mm -hmm. But the other or anything in between. So I go for the throne. I go for my Father in heaven. Mm. Mm. We thank God. Thank you. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. Amen. Apostle Dr. Elijah Coffee King is worth hearing. <laughs>